Immersion is something that people value differently in their games. For some, they couldn't care less if they feel like they're actually in the game world, but for others it's what can make or break the game. The Fallout series is somewhat immersive I guess. It's got interactable environments allowing you to interact with pretty much anything that isn't bolted down, and it's easily one of the series' best and most standout features. Despite this, we don't actually really see our character interact with the items they pick up. Like you can interact with things like the chairs and crafting tables of the world, but not the actual items you pick up from them. The closest we get to this is with stim packs in Fallout 4. Thankfully though, Zalandro's B42 Inject is an ESP-less framework allowing for other mods to give aid items animations associated with them. So just like the stim packs in Fallout 4, there's now going to be an animation for using stim packs in New Vegas. And by itself, that's all this mod does. However, that's why it's suggested that you pick up Hitman's B42 Inject Season 1 as well which will cover animations for various consumable items in the game. And as you can expect coming from Hitman, these animations are amazing. I mean, just look at this new Coca-Cola. The glass actually becomes more empty with each sip. These animations are really cool, and the attention to detail is really nice. Like, I doubt you really ever paid much mind to what's actually inside that elusive Mentats box. Well, now you can see your courier open it and eat the lone Mentat. These mods are easily going to massively increase the immersion factor in your game, and even if you don't necessarily care for immersion, the gameplay implications of this mod are pretty cool too. No longer will you be able to down an entire truck full of sunset sarsaparilla from your pit boy, as now you'll have to wait for the animation to finish before you can get back to dealing with those annoying legionnaires. I found that using this mod actually made me think a lot more before using consumables in combat, as they're no longer an easy fix for low health. However, as you can probably guess by this being the first season of Hitman's animations for B42 Inject, it doesn't actually cover every aid item. So for that reason, you might want to use this mod with animated ingestibles, which does cover every aid item. But if you do, you'll quickly encounter an issue. Using both at the same time causes double animations. That is, unless you're using the patch by Stentorius, which will disable the animations from ingestibles that are covered by B42 Inject. Overall, these are some mods that I highly suggest you pick up, as adding some trade-off to consuming aid items in combat has a bit more of an impact to how you play the game than you may initially think. But anyways, that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider subscribing. I also try and stream once a week, and it's the best way to get any help if you have any questions or looking for mod suggestions and want to ask me directly. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.